Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows 11 error code 0x800f0830. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the SFC and DISM scans. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, just type the following commands and press enter after each command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and then restart your PC. Afterwards, just check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to use the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on System and then on the right side scroll down until you find Troubleshoot section and select it. Now just click on other troubleshooters and afterwards just locate the Windows Update Troubleshooter and click on the Run button next to it. Just wait for the troubleshooter to diagnose the issue and then choose the appropriate response when prompted to fix them. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also clean boot your system. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type msconfig and select system configuration from the search results. Now in here, select the services tab and then uncheck the box marked to hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Now simply select the Boot tab and afterwards under Boot Options make sure to tick the box next to Save Boot. Lastly just click on Apply and then OK to save the changes. Now you can restart your PC and the system will boot into the safe mode. Another useful solution is to update your system. To do this you need a browser to visit the official page of Microsoft's Update Catalog, which I will also post in the description below. So once you clicked on that web page, just click the search bar and write the patch ID you're having problems with, then hit on enter. Lastly, just download the package matching with your system bit and then simply install it. You can then restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to reset the Windows update. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, just type the following commands or copy-paste them from the description below and then press enter after each command. Afterwards, proceed with typing or copy-pasting the following commands and pressing enter after each command. And lastly, you just need to run the below command subsequently. So just press enter after each command once again and then restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another great solution is to turn off the developer mode. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane just make sure to click on privacy and security. Then on the right side, click on for developers section and lastly, just make sure to turn off the developer mode to off. Finally, restart your computer and check if the issue has been resolved. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.